I'm going to be reading from Log. Um, it's an article by Caroline O'Donnell called Fugly. Ugliness as failed expectation. Beginning with the assumption that unity is the principal condition of all that is beautiful, Rosencrantz lays out the qualities of ugliness in three categories. A, formlessness, amorphousness. B, deformation, asymmetry. C, non-unity, disharmony. Overriding this categorization, however, is a definition of ugliness as something fundamentally unplanned, unexpected, and not supposed to be. Rosencrantz's amorphousness, for example, has conditions. The amorphous is ugly only when it is intended to have a form, yet does not. The asymmetrical is ugly only when it has not previously been symmetrical and the symmetry has been destroyed, or if the realization of its potential symmetry has been stilted. The issue is one of expectation. If decay occurs as it is supposed to, say, in, as a mountain range disappears behind clouds, it can be beautiful. It is unexpected decay that is ugly. The withered arm of a cripple, a gothic cathedral with one unbuilt tower, an amputation. Similarly, Umberto Eco in his book on ugliness de describes the reaction to a toothless stranger as a deviation from the expected. What disturbs us is not the form of the lips or the few remaining teeth, but the fact that the few survivors are not accompanied by the others that should be in that mouth. Faced with the inconsistency or incompleteness of that whole, we feel compelled to say dispassionately that this face is ugly. Equally ugly is the asymmetrical growth or addition of a third limb, or the addition of a misplaced window. In his essay, The Renewed Novelty of Symmetry, Greg Lind studies William Bateson's mutation of the human hand. Here, however, the mutated hand is more symmetrical than the normal hand, the thumb having mirrored itself. Bateson proposes that this resultant condition is due to a loss of information, arguing that where information is lost, the organ organism reverts to... <laughs> Apexa is the human and accidental theatre-goer who happened in on the play of life. I'm going to hand over to Richard Hawley next. <laughs>